Measurement of time. Starry, your teacher said that you are going to get a week's holiday. Isn't that great? Do you know how many days are there in a week? Yes, seven days. Let's revise their names. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Starry, today is Wednesday. Did you go for your audio visual class? That's good. Yesterday was Tuesday. Did you enjoy your craft class? Oh, you learnt how to make a paper boat. But tomorrow is Thursday. Why do you have a holiday? It's the Founders Day at your school. Hey Starry, look at the notice sent by the society. It shows the timetable for the Ganesh festival. The Ganesh idol was brought on Friday. On Saturday, there is fancy dress competition. Yes, there is dance competition also. It is on Sunday. Okay, Starry, I am sure you have understood the days of the week. Let's do an activity now. Fill in the blanks with correct words. Here is the first question. Today is Sunday. So tomorrow will be dash. Tomorrow will be Monday. The next question. Yesterday was Wednesday. So today is dash. It is Thursday. Let's read the next question. If today is Friday, so dash was Thursday. The right answer is yesterday. If today is Friday, so yesterday was Thursday. Dash comes between Monday and Wednesday. Can you answer this story? Yes, Tuesday. The next blank now. Today is Monday. So dash will be Tuesday. Today is Monday. So tomorrow will be Tuesday. The last blank story. Today is Wednesday. Means tomorrow will be dash. And dash was Tuesday. What is the answer here? Today is Wednesday. So tomorrow will be Thursday. And yesterday was Tuesday. Starry, one week has seven days. But one month can have 30 or 31 days. There is one more exception. The month of February has 28 or 29 days. Let us first see the months of the year according to the English or the Gregorian calendar. There are 12 months in a year. The first month of the year is January. It has 31 days. The second month is February. It can have 28 or 29 days. How many days 
does this calendar show starry? Yes, 28 days. Which is the third month? It is March. It has 31 days. The fourth month is April. It has 30 days. The fifth month, May, has 31 days. Which is the sixth month, Starry? Yes, it is June. The month of June has 30 days. The seventh month is July. It has 31 days. August is the eighth month. It also has 31 days. September month has 30 days. It is the ninth month. Can you tell me the tenth month? Yes, it is October. October has 31 days. The eleventh month is November. How many days does November have? Yes, 30 days. Which is the last month of the year, Starry? Yes, the twelfth month of the year is December. It has 31 days. Let us repeat the names of the months in order, Starry. Yes, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Starry, we generally use the names of the Gregorian year months, but when we celebrate Indian festivals, we also consider the months of the Indian solar year. You must have heard their names from your grandparents. Let us learn the names of the months of Indian solar year. The first month is called Chaitra. It may have 30 or 31 days. The second month is Vaishak. It has 31 days. The third month is Jaisht. It has 31 days. The fourth month is Ashad. It has 31 days. Do you know what the next month is, Tari? Yes, it is the holy month of Shravan. It is the fifth month and has 31 days. After Shravan comes the sixth month, Bhadra. It also has 31 days. The seventh month is Ashwin. It has 30 days. The eighth month, Kartik, also has 30 days. The ninth month is a Grahayan, also known as Margashirsh. It has 30 days. The next, that is the tenth month, is Posh. Posh also has 30 days. Mag and Falgun are the 11th and 12th months respectively. Both of them have 30 days each. Starry, are the names clear to you? Should we repeat them once again? Okay, let's start. Chaitra, Vaishak, Jesht, Ashad, Shravan, Bhadra, Ashwin, Kartik, Margashish, Posh, Mag, 
फाल्गुन वी हैव टू डू वन इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी स्टारी सी हियर वी हैव वन बिग कार्डबोर्ड व्हील पिविटेड ऑन अ रॉड ऑन इट द मंथ्स ऑफ द ग्रेगोरियन ईयर आर रिटन another smaller wheel is pivoted on top of it the months of the indian solar year are written on it a pointer is also attached in the center first we shall revolve the bigger wheel let's see at which month the arrow points when the wheel stops hmm It stops at November. Starry, November is the eleventh month of the Gregorian year. Now we have to turn the wheel in such a way that we match the eleventh month of the solar year. That is, mark with November. Did you understand the activity starry? Okay. Let us revolve the wheel again. Here it stops at March. March is the third month of the Gregorian year. So which month of the solar year should we match with? Yes, jest. Would you like to turn the big wheel again, Starry? Okay. Now it stops at May. May is the fifth month of the year. So we match it with Shravan. Now let's turn the small wheel first. The arrow now points at Kartik. Which month of the solar year is it, Starry? Yes, eighth. So we match it with August. Which wheel should we turn now, Starry? Okay. the small wheel hey it stops at chaitra with which month of the gregorian year should we match it yes chaitra is the first month of the year so we match it with january wasn't this a nice game starry don't forget the days of the week and the months of the year starry